They hit like really. twenty foul balls. It was a double. It was a double header. Uh, they tied and were stuck in like the seventh inning for three extra innings, and then the umpire got taken out. Legit, he got hit so hard in his elbow that he literally fell down. And it ended with fireworks. Is this a little league or a major league game? Minor. Brandon, this is your show. Let me fix my hair and we'll get to it. Okie dokie. So, Brandon, it's been a while since we've done one of these, but go ahead and load us into what essentially is your podcast. Wow. Hey, guys. Welcome to uh, Season of the Glitch. The only podcast where I choke on a pickle. One guy looks like long haired Post Malone, and the other guy has two body pillows. What a great time here. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, so, I know it's been a little bit since we've uh, done a show, uh, in essentially, more or less, it's summer vacation for all of us. Maybe yeah. literal for you, Brandon, but Josh, I know you just got back from a trip. Why don't you tell us about your trip? You don't gotta go super into depth, but just tell us where you went and stuff. What'd you do a little bit? Uh, I went to Illinois. I got to meet with some people. I got to meet my old friend, my brother, for, since we met. We've been friends since we were in the fifth grade. Um, I hanged out with him and stayed at his house with his dad. Uh, I met the, the legend himself, Josh Irby. That's uh, pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I met my girlfriend. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I didn't meet my girlfriend already, but I uh, hanged out with her a lot. Uh, she got to visit me in August. Nice, bro. The house, you know, so, cool. Yeah. Brandon, uh, while we were all on vacation, tell us about your Michigan times and all that fun stuff. And I'm pretty sure you saw a monster truck show. Mm-hmm, I did. Tell us about so, that. Um, well, currently I'm in Michigan right now uh, for Fourth of July. Um, that's cool. Um, it has been a constant up, down, up, down, up, down process. That seems um, yeah. It seems like you're moving around a lot. Mush. It's mush. It's disintegrated. But, uh, yeah. Um, but a couple weekends ago, I went to a show called Monster Truck Throwdown uh, in Wilmot, Wisconsin. And it was the first time they ever held it there. Um, they had, I believe it was five to six trucks. I can't remember exactly right now. Um, but I got to see my first moonwalk in person. Okay. Which basically the truck's like this, where it's on its front tires and it just goes back and forth and you know whatever. That's cool, man. Um. Uh. And one of the drivers that was there, it was his birthday, so we got to watch him uh, suffer uh, by having a broken truck and then finally come out at the end of the night. Damn. So. Hardcore. Yeah, it was cool in its own weird way. <laughs> so while Josh was up in Chicago and Brandon was at a monster truck rally in Michigan, I myself went to Tennessee. I hit all kinds of places up in Pigeon Forge and Anakista and Gatlinburg and stuff. And tried to find Bigfoot, didn't find him. But hey, it was a cool time not being in Florida. So it's nice yeah, that we all kind of did. That reminds me, I did. I did meet the legend himself, Zach Baby TV, who was part of another podcast we're all part of so it was it was interesting you know he came into the parking lot bumping them goosebumps uh, probably not no um i'm supposed to be leaving for hey josh are you prepared for that hurricane yeah we're good uh i'm supposed to be heading down to the keys this weekend so tomorrow morning i'm supposed to get up and drive down to the keys we'll see i don't know if it's still happening but we're not doing the harborito because i won't have matt here because i won't be here so Next week, we're going to resume. What's that? Since you're on your vacation days, I'm guessing right now, uh, if you go to the Keys, you go to Tennessee, do you have anything you know, like one vacation day to come visit me? Uh, not yet, unless you're near St. Augustine. Uh, no, I think I'm in the opposite direction. Let me get you uh, quick. Um, <laughs> funny enough, Brandon, when we're talking about visiting, that. what's like the biggest city in Wisconsin? Biggest city in Wisconsin. Uh, I'd probably say Milwaukee. Probably. That is the one. So no guarantees wow. whatsoever. How close do you are? How close to Milwaukee are you? About. 
hour? Well, I'm not promising anything, but me and my girl are in the talks about going to see a concert that just happens to be in Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So. Let me guess. Summerfest. I mean, if Mount Joy's playing there, then yeah, but I don't know. Okay, no, I'm just saying I hate Summerfest. I, I just, I oh. hate it. <laughs> I don't know. Here's what I do know. It's in September. Um. Oh, okay, then it is in Summerfest. I don't Summer know Fest. what we're going to decide on, but... We're just looking at all the options, and that is one of the destinations, possibly. So, don't get your hopes up yet, but it's a possibility. No, I, I gave them up a long time ago. You'll meet me um, eventually. So, I just did the, the, the thing. Yes. The, uh, map, and it's three, three hours and, tw- and 25 minutes away. I promise you, I, at some point in time, I will come visit you. It's just, uh, essentially, these, like, mini cases, like, we're going down to the Keys for a band. We wouldn't be going to the Keys otherwise. We didn't go to Tennessee yeah, for a okay. band. I looked, but there was nothing up there then, but that was like a family vacation. These next couple mini-cations are kind of for bands. We're going to see different shows. Um, so, Georgia, Wisconsin, New York, you name it. Arizona, places like that. Oh, I'm gonna say, the plan to to see you abroad, that's kind of sad. Saving the best for last, my dude. So, why don't we kind of stride on to what we always do in this podcast, and we'll talk about... Did anybody see that article that Bloody Disgusting published today? No. That what? somebody oh, no, no. dug up the script from George A. Romero's 1990s version of the Goosebumps movie. What? It's no, been dug what? up. It's floating around. It's in my not this episode of Nightmares and News coming up, but the one after. I'm filming the one tonight no. later. Um, but... Yeah, it's in next week's Nightmares and News. So, that'll be mentioned then. No. So, question. The script has been dug up. Is it possible they're making it? No, I'm sure it's available to read, though, and you can see how it would have played out, but... No. But that would have been so f***ing cool. It would have been really cool. It's probably something I'm going to end up reading. would have made it like it's supposed to be made in scary. Yes, I agree. But that's life, you know? Sometimes life, we don't just always like get... all the Fierce Truth movies that are definitely... Uh, I don't spoil, I will swear. I was... That's not spoiled. That's not spoiled. There is... Also, like, like how, um... What's the name? Steven Spielberg would have made a good film. Or, uh... What's the name? Um... Oh, man. Um... Like, Fun Time. Imagine, like, Quentin Tarantino made a, a Goosebumps movie. No, 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 no. <laughs> Imagine M. Night Shyamalan made a new Goosebumps movie. Okay. <laughs> I see it floating around. I haven't checked it out. Dude, that looks so good. It looks interesting. Okay. Well, I think we should, I think you should do a story about it Nightmare on News because it's been a while since he's made a movie. Oh, so it's his movie? Yeah, it's his movie. Okay. I mean, I, I'll look into it, dude. I'm a, I'm always looking for some content for the Nightmares and News, even though I've grown yeah, to hate it because it's such a pro- project. Okay. Um. So, does anyone have any other news besides that? Like. In general, it doesn't have to be horror. I mean, this. Yeah, what you got, Brandon? I mean, I got. I don't have the stuff with me, but I got like Kim packed with a bunch of uh, pickups in um, Illinois. Yeah. Um, and then I got a bunch of stuff in Texas. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah
want now? <laughs> Go ahead. Here's one thing. Um, how about this? Marvel Zombies just got announced that they're making another three miniseries. So. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's in the dice. I just rolled double skulls, Brandon. Doesn't doesn't look like it's gonna happen, buddy. That's okay. That's fair. Thank you. I mean, hey, it's oh, cool. Dice. It's finally cool if they're doing something with it, but you know, you know. Oh, here, you you might need one of these then. Hang on. Tissue? Do you need to say tissue from all the ejaculation? What? The skull dice. I play skull dice. No, you don't do that. Viewers, view, viewers, viewers that are watching at home make a meme of it. Dylan, I'm looking at you. Make a meme of this. It's gonna make a meme of your <laughs> big old schnoz. Um, so I got another thing statement about my uh, Illinois trip. I got a 14 subscriber increase through my through my chance of leaving the Florida to go to Illinois. Make more shitty so porn. Everyone likes your smut. Guess how many subs I got? I, I might do that for a point. I don't know. I don't want to get like taken down from YouTube and like for to, um go against the guidelines. I want I want Josh's giveaway. What? Yeah, you did win my giveaway. He was the first <laughs> prize winner. Wow. <laughs> I got the first comment. And second person was a friend of mine through a Facebook group that I met, and the third is this random uh, guy. Girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. That's cool. So, uh, one fact, guys. How about we do a pickups thing? Because that's cool. Yeah, but I don't have a pickups with me. I can just tell you what I got. That's fine. Uh, go ahead. So, I don't know why I picked up some manga and some other stuff, but I picked up some Christopher Pike, Spooksville. You know, it's cool. so expensive, so, like, you got a a supreme condition in, um, number 20 of Goosebumps, the original series, uh, it's gonna go up to midnight. It was barely a scratch on it. Nice. That's weird for half point books. Like, I was like, okay, Josh, I, wa I watched your video of that. Okay. The front had barely a scratch. That spine was disgusting. That spine was Yeah, the spine was kind of disgusting. Yeah. I will give that, yeah. That spine looked like like the uh, Fright Light Edition Dalton got. <laughs> so, Brandon, what'd you pick up besides these fucking hands if you don't stop? <laughs> Thank you. So... There's a series that I read uh, called the Shadow Children series. Yeah. I found the last. I found the last of the books I needed. So, Among the Barons, Among the Brave, Sus the Imposter. Excuse me, Among the Enemy, and Among the what is this? Among the Free. This is the last book. <laughs> I have the entire set. That's pretty so key. And uh, Saucy Baka. Uh, basically, you can't have a third child because a population police is like, hey, I'm gonna grab your child and he will die. Goodbye. And, and basically, um, and this kid was living in a was living in a closet for 13 years, and um. He uh, is trying to lead a revolution to stop the population police from killing more kids off. Okay. So. Yeah. Are we ready for? Are we ready for my pickups? Yep. For sure. All right. So this came in the mail today. This is called "We Are Still oh, no. Here." <gasps> That's a good film. I haven't That's seen it, but I got it for two bucks. I, seen it. I'm excited no, no. I finally get to take this piece of shit off my shelf and replace it because this is it's not the American copy. Okay. Good. It's so. the Indian reprint. Shh. And Josh, I found these today. You're probably going to be pretty hyped on these. I didn't even film it. What? Yeah, yeah okay. boy! Bro, I, I, I actually have a few. I, 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 so, I read the first two I got. Well, I have three here for trade. I don't got anything to trade. Is there anything you really need? I can find more knowledge on 
shit you want to do? I don't hey, care. Hey, Josh, how about this? If you give me those that JoJo manga and stuff, I'll give you my fright times that I have. Yeah, fright times, let me see. I don't have them with me. I'm up in Michigan. Well, when you're in Wisconsin, show me your fright times. We'll, we'll make you... We'll see about that, okay? We can get some swappage going on there, my dudes. But yeah, Josh, I'll, uh, I'll set these aside for you, my dude. We can talk about this off camera. Anyway, and so... Not, you know, I don't have anything like good to find. I just buy them off the computer. Yeah, I can always do a sweet deal for you. Cut you some sweet dealios. Um, How much did that cost, by the way? They're a couple bucks each. Nothing crazy. I mean, I'd give you like 20 bucks on the down today. Is that, is that, is sure. That in the I'll throw something extra in just for you. Thank you. Of course. Speaking of stuff, um, speaking of stuff, because we're kind of on a horror-related topic tonight. Um, Fear Street, the, the first part came out. Yes, it did, and then we did this recording. And then next Friday is part two, and then part three. I'm looking forward to watching uh -huh. it. So, I was going to ask you guys, would you want to review those on my channel with me? Like, we do a collab. Summerween? Sure. Yeah, Summerween. Sure. We'll, so we'll, do, the, we'll do the reaction. Awesome. I'm going to be doing a Summerween project soon. And, yeah, guys, I definitely uh, have things for Summerween. I have, like, one video. Did you, uh... <laughs> Go ahead, Josh. So, Summerween thing. I'm planning to do a debunking theory. Debunking a very popular theory. Saying that Kevin McAllister for Humble Home is actually Jigsaw, older. It's a really popular it's theory like that Christmas people have. How's, how's Just know, like this like, mother like, pick Rimlins for f***ing our lineup in the guy they have season 3. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Look, it's it's Brandon's <laughs> puppet. It's guys, Thrift Book's puppet. Guys, let me tell you something, guys. Alright, you ready? Here's a big theory. Yeah. What if... The toys from Toy Story came to life, and they were evil, and, like, they murdered people. And, like, yeah, guys, Toy Story's a horror movie. <laughs> it's pretty chunky. <laughs> yeah, no, um, so, hey, here's the thing, though. We can definitely do what you want to do with the Fear Street. That's not a problemo. Did you see, Brandon, in, like, my last video, I threw you a shout-out for Summerween? Put a little hashtag yeah. in there just for you? Yeah, I know. I thank you. And... I did want to know um, my uh, Doki Doki Literature Club reaction video. Technically, Doki Lo Doki Doki Literature Club can be counted as summer ween. So, so speaking of weens and spookiness and all that jazz, you guys know we're down to the last two films in season three of the Horror Burrito. Yes. And because we <laughs> off so hard, we're gonna roll right into season four. So, get your choices ready. Let's get away from this. Let's talk about something else. Uh, Brandon. What is the big project that's coming up next for your YouTube channel? Whoa, uh, deep. De is it Dead uh, 3, Space Without Toes? Oh, wait, no, no. Is it Dead 2, The Space Between Your Toes? No, it's not called Dead 2, The Space Between Your Toes. It's called Dead 2, I'm Dead Again. Yeah. Fucking hey, God damn you, motherfucker. Uh, Josh, what's your next big project coming up? My next big project, well, I have two apps up, I didn't upload. Um, one is when I went to uh, Kinakawa, a Misawa Rocks place in Illinois, Arlington Heights, and I went to a Kinakawa Books, which is a Japanese bookstore, and there was just a big ass manga shop everywhere. So, I got some manga. I also have to edit my haul video. I mean, I bought it in Illinois. I actually have a video. Nice. But um, I'm also doing an Assassin's Creed video game ranking list. Oh, the video I suggested, yeah. Yes, suggested um, from my friend Brandon. And thank you for the Lord Gilles Club um, playthrough. I actually uh, have a couple of things planned. Oh, you actually want to speak about um, them? Go ahead. Um, So, for summer ween stuff. Summertime! Uh, um, I just got done watching The Thing for the first time. So I'm going to do Ooh, The Thing. Ooh, that's such a good fucking movie. It is a good fucking movie. Um, and I might also be doing a video uh, soon if I can get my editor to help me with it. Uh, I'm possibly gonna maybe try to make like a video that is normal, but is it normal? 
Oh boy. Not in a meme way at all. Like, not as a meme or anything. Like, serious. I see. Okay. Well, that's all I can say for now. Okay. Um, off Yay. camera, I'll talk about it more with you guys, but for on camera, that's all you guys get. Okay, well, here's the breakdown for what's to come. Um, you guys know a bit about the projects I'm working on. I oh, am a third of the oh, way through mind. editing Goosebumps Ghost Reviews 2. Now, a lot of my free time went to fixing the Redux, and I just finished. As you saw, Ghost Nutbusters will be uploaded and previewing tonight. So, <laughs> uh, yes, I'm also going to try to snip the best, like, little shorts I've created out of the Horror Burrito stuff, or, like, short, short stuff, but I'm caught up. Now it's just making thumbnails, and I'm done playing catch-up. I'm so glad I'm done with it. Anyway, Goosebumps Ghost Reviews 2. I've got two scary stories that I'm rotating back and forth. I do a page a day on. Oh, my God, Josh. When you hear, like, you're not going to be able to read this for your group because it's so long, but when you hear the Wendigo one... That's I can't wait. 10 out of 10, my best work. Anything you think I've written that was good doesn't even hold a f***ing candle to what this is. I okay, promise. I fucking love this story. I've been working on this story for years. What? Uh, let's see. Uh, it takes place in the setting of an abandoned mall. Uh, that's all I can really give you without spoilies. Urban exploration? Tree. Yes, urban exploration is a big piece of it. But it's really fun. Yeah, it's awesome, a Ouija board story. Oh no. It's about poltergeists and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I know where this is going. Where is it going? Spooky someone has to play person or demon and or, Zosa. or anything. Those are the demon. Close. What better? Harambe. No, no. Again, I won't. I won't. I won't spoil. I'm just because you guys are gonna want to listen to it. But I'm telling you, two of the best stories I've written is in a it, long time. It, honestly. Sir, sir, sir. Is it? Is it? Okay, though. Is it, is it go on Jack's channel first or your channel first? That's a really good question. Uh, my main priority right now is to get Ghostly Reviews Episode Two done. I then I want to get those that. stories done. Then I'm gonna start write, uh, writing the Goosebumps like Beyond, where we're all four of us are in it. I'll write that next, because that's about Stay of the Basement. And then after that point, I'm gonna just open up that new channel I've told you about in private that I'm not gonna disclose the name of here, because I don't want it stolen. That has to do with Pokemon. Oh, funny thing! It's so funny. It's my first summer Ween review is Stay out of the Basement. Dirt, 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 dirt. <laughs> Yes, you guys will enjoy it. I've got the plot hole set up. Brandon, I'm sorry, what was your name? Oh, Landon. Landon makes a new friend whose name is Casey, who just happened to move in the neighborhood. And Casey's dad is a scientist who likes to do experiments in the attic. And they're testing how plants adapt to the new region they're in. So it's like um, the plot for... Um, more or less, it's going to be along the lines. The this is in this universe, Plant Brewer One. He replaced the entire family with plant copies, moved them to a new area because the university transferred him, and now he's trying to essentially make the entire town planty. And you know, we'll have to fight so him. I got a question. Is there? A, are we going to like a reference? How we survived the last one. Because Ma the last one ended with just a dog being like running our house. And that is what is so fun. After You'll see how that comes into play. House. Maybe I go I Goosebumps Horland and they all team up at some point. Who knows yet? I'm still writing it. Oh no. But yes. Yeah, hoping, I can't wait for one. Oh yeah, dude. Well, I'm, I'm doing them in order. So, of course, next. And I try to keep them in tag with my yeah. ghostly reviews. So. Monster Blood. Monster Blood will be next, but you won't be seeing Monster Blood probably t probably until late October, early November, the way my writing process goes. Plus, I'm moving, which doesn't help. What, a, what about Ghostly I mean, Reviews? You know, when is that going to happen for uh, Monster Blood? Uh, that's the next one, and uh, it's funny you say that without spoiling <laughs> anything. And... What? No, I'm going in, like, being a degree in writing and stuff, so if you don't need anyone to buy 
lot of times, you have to offer something you're um, free or look at your, um, you know, your draft and help you out, boy. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, and to answer your question, Brandon, say it again. When's the, when are you going to... Um, do the uh, ghostly reviews for uh, Monster Blood. God damn it, I dropped my phone. So, picking back up where we left off, uh, we were talking about channel announcements. Does anybody have any definitive next like level trips coming up? Is anyone going to meet anybody? Is anyone going to a Halloween event? Let me guess. Michigan back to Wisconsin and back? What you no. got? No. In August, I am actually might be going to uh, Utah to go to the Bonneville Salt Drags. What's that? Pretend I know. Basic, um, basically, it is a the entire. It's like a desert, but it's sand. It's salt. All right. They hold a giant like drag racing competition there, where they have like over. What is it like over eight hundred cars a year there? Okay. Josh, what about they, you? They do like speed records and stuff to see who can get like the fastest record, like fastest land speed records. I got you. Josh, what about you? Kind of cool. Well, me? I don't really got anything going. Okay. So do we have anything else we uh, want to discuss or talk about? planning except my girlfriend coming in in August. So, uh, Brandon, what else do you want to talk about here, man, before we shut down the show? Watch Brandon Symes' review of the whole ween, summer ween, Fear Street review. Whoa, look at this guy. Hold on. Look at that, guys. I'm like almost an hour into the movie. I will Sam you. I will break this lollipop and cut you. <laughs> look at this bucket. Look at this. Josh, is there anything else you'd like to discuss before we close out the show? Um. When's the next Bobby episode? Are awesome. Yeah, guys. And yeah, that's it. When's the next episode of the, the, the uh, what was it, the Cannonball Sack Podcast? Uh, supposedly it's Hurricane, this is us being the 8th. Gotcha. We might be filming with our friends from, uh, uh, who came back from the Marines. Oh, you can tell your friends, I think they do not have high, I do not think they have, uh, good taste and whore, because they didn't enjoy my story. I, I heard them talk about it being a poop monster and saying it wasn't good. I, I, got, I got some good news <laughs> <laughs> I'll make them That's look in the mirror. Um, so possibly, um, I might be doing hacking, entertaining, and lovable ligaments again soon. You never did it. I realized that because our recordings, we've had two really good ones and two really garbage ones. And we're just trying to find, like, the perfect spot, Okay. I guess. Because I'm not hating, but you're like me when I was like, Hey, everybody, I want to do Goosebumps Ghost Reviews in 2019. And it didn't come out until 2021. That's you with Heckin' Entertainment okay. and Lickable Nut Sacks. Thank you. To be fair, I played in the, the, your actual video, in the video of the one, and they said, my friend said they both liked it because the music made it scary. I think, honestly, no offense, Josh, your storytelling skills just aren't on par yet with my level of writing. Also, I was trying to read fast with my friend. And you also <laughs> giggled a lot. Like, oh, well you yeah, you so. kept giggling when you got to the ripping the choppy sparty poops. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, and then I went and sat down because I had to poop. <laughs> that was you. I was like, damn it, Josh, you're slaughtering a masterpiece. Like much like that so, like, fictional. Yeah. Hey guys, much... look at my evil wallet. It's gonna... I did say to be fair though, they might not like your story, but I like it. Okay, bro. So it's, it's all good, man. I'm not hating. Again, it's all good. Anyway, so is there anything else before I throw these dice in the show? No. Nope. All right. Well nope. then, as Einstein once said when he put his wiener in a Tesla coil, son of a glitch.